Recorded Books and RB Digital present Someone to Hold, a Westcott novel by Mary Ballog. Narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One After several months of hiding away, wallowing in misery and denial, anger and shame, and any other negative emotion anyone cared to name, Camille Westcott finally took charge of her life on a sunny, blustery morning in July, at the grand age of twenty-two. She had not needed to take charge before the great catastrophe a few months before, because she had been a lady. Lady Camille Westcott, to be exact, eldest child of the Earl and Countess of Riverdale, and ladies did not have or need control over their own lives. Other people had that instead. Parents, maids, nurses, governesses, chaperones, husbands, society at large, especially society at large with its myriad rules and expectations, most of them unwritten, but nonetheless real on that account. But she needed to assert herself now. She was no longer a lady. She was now simply Miss Westcott, and she was not even sure about the name. Was a bastard entitled to her father's name? Life yawned ahead of her as a frightening unknown. She had no idea what to expect of it. There were no more rules, no more expectations. There was no more society, no more place of belonging. If she did not take charge and do something, who would? It was a rhetorical question, of course. She had not asked it aloud in anyone's hearing, but no one would have had a satisfactory answer to give her, even if she had. So she was doing something about it herself. It was either that, or cower in a dark corner somewhere for the rest of her natural-born days. She was no longer a lady, but she was, by God, a person. She was alive. She was breathing.